President Ramaphosa should appoint Deputy Joe Fala as Health Minister Trevor Manuel said. Former Finance Minister Trevor Manuel says there is nothing stopping President Cyril Ramaphosa from promoting Deputy Health Minister Drive. Joe Fala to his cabinet, while Sweelim Kais is on special leave. Manuel believes SA needs a dedicated health minister to focus on fighting the infected pandemic, instead of an acting minister who has another portfolio to worry about. You're listening to 24-7 SA News. Hit the like button and subscribe for more hot news. Let's take the fact that Dr. Mkais has stepped aside voluntarily, seemingly, and we now have a Minister of Tourism taking responsibility for that portfolio. There is no impediment to President Ramaphosa actually looking at the situation and acknowledging that in a pandemic you need a competent health minister who is au fait with the running of health systems and recognizes that in a deputy minister of health, Dr. Fala, he may have somebody like that, elevate him to the cabinet so that he can be of single-minded focus on the pandemic. If later, Dr. Mkais is in a position to return, it's fine, you can reshuffle the cabinet again. But you can't have somebody operating, on one hand, trying to deal with matters of tourism and cooking with some easy, and on the other hand, trying to have the necessary serious focus of resolving critical elements of the pandemic said Manuel. He said this just can't work in the public's mind. These are decisions that must be taken and must be taken soon he added. He said this was one of many important issues that President Ramaphosa should be dealing with. Fala is a medical doctor and has been the Deputy Minister of Health for seven years. Manuel was addressing the Center for Development and Enterprises with honor themed essay in the next five years. How do we resolve our political and economic crises, responding to a question about the capabilities of the government and cabinet in addressing the country's problems, especially as some members faced serious allegations of wrongdoing, Manuel said South Africans should not tolerate such leaders, even if they have not been charged. He said pressure should be put on them to go. Citing the Auditor General's local government audit published on Tuesday, Manuel said it was clear that the national government will have to take responsibility for what happens in the everyday lives of people and the services that they expect that aren't rendered by the local government. If you took the AG's report of yesterday and you went to the worst performing municipalities that haven't submitted audited statements in many years, throw out the mayors, the councillors, the members of the mayoral committee, throw out the senior managers, start again and the responses are likely to be very different, he said. Manuel said South Africans should not wait until someone gets to the A and C step aside rule because they are criminally charged. Why shouldn't there be a groundswell of opinion that actually drives bad people out of government and ditto at the national level? Brought you by 24-7 SA News. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more information about your favorite actor.